Number 21, calculate the delta S for the following changes. And then we have CS2 gas goes to CS2 liquid. Okay, so we're trying to find a delta S value, right? Delta S is talking about a change in entropy. So we're looking for a change in entropy, randomness, disorder. But anytime that you see a S value, that's entropy. And this little notch just means that we have to use standard values. That means we got to go into the back of the textbook to find out what the standard values of CS2 gas and CS2 liquid. So that's what I did for you already. Now, how are we going to find out the total delta S? Well, the formula is right here. Delta S for the entire reaction is always the sum. That's this little squiggly line. And that just means we have to add, right? The sum of all the products minus the sum of all the reactants. So I just have to make sure that are we going to use these values or do I have to multiply by one or two or three or four? The answer here is always just look at how much you got. In both of these, I don't see a coefficient, which means that I only had one of them. So in essence, the numbers that you found in the back of the textbook you will multiply by that coefficient. So technically this would be times by one and the same thing here, times by one. Just know that if you had a two in front, you would times by two. Now, both of them timesing by one is the same number, 238.0 for the reactants and 151.34 for the products. Now all we're doing is we're taking these values and plugging them in into my formula. And it's always products minus reactants. So let's go for it. Delta S notch just means standard for the whole reaction, RxN reaction. I got the products of 151.34 minus the reactants of 238.0. Let's see what we get. Delta S for the whole entire reaction is 151.34 minus 238. It's a negative value, which makes sense because you're going from very, very high entropy, right, a gas, to a lower entropy value. So it kind of makes sense that you're losing entropy. And if we have the correct number of sig figs, we're only going to have one sig fig after the decimal. So it'd be 86 negative 86.7, and then units for delta S, according to your appendix values, are joules per mole times Kelvin. And that is the final answer. Not bad. Just comes from that one standard equation. Thank you so much for viewing the video. If you want to help us out, please press the subscribe button. I look forward to helping you in future lessons. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.